All right. Now, I'm going to talk about something that's pissing me off, you know. There's there's a recent RT thing that came up on my news feed on, on Facebook. And Korea said that Japan is more of a threat to Korea than China. You know. I'm getting so... I get so fucking tired of these countries that are so fucking worried about a goddamn rock out in the middle of the goddamn ocean that isn't even inhabitable. You, it's got like a lighthouse on it. And they're fucking worried about it. And China's saying it's ours. And Japan's saying it's ours. And we claim it. And blah, blah, blah. They're fighting over this stupid fucking rock out in the middle of the ocean. Who gives a fuck? Leave it alone. It's so fucking bullshit. And, and Korea, Korea is saying that Japan's worse than China for a fucking because of a stupid fucking rock that they're fighting over and because Japan back in the 40s and 30s fucked over you know Korea and all this stupid shit and they're they're like you know the people that are living now aren't affected aren't weren't affected but their family members you know that might be in their 80s or 90s were and they're holding on to that shit and it's it's that's what that's what makes this shit keep on you know, people need to drop that shit and fucking move on with their fucking life. You know, what in a thousand. This is how I look at everything in my life in a thousand years from now. What the fuck is going to be the difference between that fucking piece of rock out there in the middle of the fucking ocean? You think anybody's going to give a fuck who owns that fucking thing in a thousand years? No, nobody's going to give a shit. We're probably going to be on fucking Mars. Nobody's going to give a fuck about a piece of shit rock. But they're talking about starting a fucking war over it. You know, there's these fucking countries fighting over a goddamn rock out in the middle of the fucking ocean saying that we're worse than China. Well, they're out there building fucking like islands right now. Every day they got these fucking dredges that are throwing fucking sand from the ocean floor, fucking up ecosystems, stacking up this shit, making these huge massive runways that are like 56 football fields wide and getting bigger every day making airports and all this shit and they're fucking may have they have actually navy like chinese navy going around these fucking things you know and that's that's less of a threat to korea than us really how, how do you figure how do you figure they got fucking nuclear weapons japan doesn't have nuclear weapons you know we got America over here in fucking Okinawa and Tokyo. There's a couple of bases on in Japan. And we got America here, you know. But Japan doesn't have the capability of, of launching an attack on anybody. They can maybe assist, you know. But the military in Japan is very small compared to many other countries. We don't have very many military people here at all. So, and, and nobody in this country, if they said, we're going to go to war over this fucking rock out in the sea, nobody in Japan would go like, yeah, let's join the military. Everybody would go, fuck you. We're not fighting over a goddamn rock. The only people that give a shit about this fucking rock out in the ocean is fucking prime ministers and people in fucking office. And the way it works in Japan, nobody really gives a fuck about them. You know, those guys, you, if, if you're up in office, you don't actually... This is the thing. In Japan, we don't actually have a democracy in Japan. You see, there's these big people up in office, kind of almost like a monarchy, right? And they elect, they, they put up for election people who they like. And then you vote for those people, and then they're, they're elected. But then if they do something they don't like, they take them out of office and they replace them with someone else, which has happened uh, several times with prime ministers. Like within one year, we went through three prime ministers, you know, and they kept getting uh, they kept getting like fired because the people in the offices didn't like what the what the people did. One of the guys, he went to a uh, shrine uh, that had to deal with World War uh, Two and and was uh, uh the shrine that he went to was for dead soldiers from World War II, and Japan didn't want to be associated with it because they said it it dealt with Nazism and all this stuff. So they didn't they they fired him basically from being the president basically of Japan, you know. So they don't actually have a place where like I can directly vote for this person. Like if I want to vote for a prime minister, you can't vote for a prime minister. You vote for somebody that somebody else. Uh, 
and in, in most cases, the way it works in Japan, you don't vote directly for somebody. You vote for somebody who votes for somebody, you know. And the person that you voted for is a government official, and they choose whoever they want. They don't choose who you want, you know. So that's that's the way the system works here. It's not actually a democratic system. It's closer to communism, you know. Basically, that's it's been that way. And it's kind of masqueraded. America's got the same thing going on too, but everybody wants to think they're not communists, but they are. You know, so you know this. It's it's it pisses me off so much to hear all this fucking bullshit that these people talk about. About you know, oh, we're gonna fight over this rock and all. Oh, you know, North Korea and South Korea and blah blah blah. blah. All this stuff was caused by by America and and you know other countries uh america c keeps fostering it you know for the fucking million fucking years that they've been going on but most of this stuff is propagated by people just not letting it go it would be so easy for people to just let it go and not worry about what the governments say don't worry about what the government wants and what the government needs the easiest way for you to make the uh anything the government wants null and void is just don't pay attention to them if they make laws if they make rules if they make regulations if they make whatever fuck them because none of those things if if they if they violate your freedom then they're not laws simple as that that's the same way it works in america you know with the constitution of the united states if they make a law that that basically nullegates your rights as a human being basically they're called your inalienable rights which are rights that you have from birth and have till you're dead that cannot be touched under the constitution if they write any law that negates those it's not a law from the moment it was signed it's not a law never was you know so all you have to do to affect these these you know governments these companies these places is just don't participate you know, when they make laws, when they make rules, when they make whatever, don't even, don't pay attention to the law, act like it never was wrote, don't pay attention to those people, no matter what they say, no matter what they do, don't fucking worry about them. After a while, they'll stop, and they'll just have to change their ways, because nobody gives a shit what they're saying. You know, it's like the person in the, in the room that's always talking about something, and nobody else really cares about it. If you just don't pay attention to them, They'll either leave or they'll shut the fuck up and start listening to what everybody else has to say, you know, and that's basically what needs to happen. These government officials think that we need to be listening to them, but we don't because nothing they have to say means anything. It's all bullshit. You know, I don't care what a government official has to say to me. I don't care what an officer has to say to me. I don't care what a big corporate conglomerate person has to say to me because I don't mean shit to them so why do you mean shit to me you know they don't give a fuck about me so why should I give a fuck about you you know that's the way you need to think about life worry about things that worry about you you know if I have friends who are worried about me then I'll worry about you if I have friends that could give a fuck what happens to me then I'm not gonna give a fuck about you and you're not my friend you know so why the fuck would I care about you? And it's the same thing with this shit in Korea, you know? We're, all the governments are fighting over this fucking piece of rock out in the middle of the ocean with a goddamn lighthouse on it. They're, plant, they're building fucking crap out there to have, like, military dominance over this place. And then you got other countries that are trying to switch the blame and say that Japan's worse and China says that everybody else is worse and blah 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 it's fucking it's bullshit it's fucking oh it's it's so fucking mind-numbingly stupid you know and it, it gets fucking old I'm so tired of this mindset that everybody has that we have to fight 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 America's been fighting since like forever you know America's only fucking a couple hundred years old and it's been at war like the entire fucking time it's been in existence it's fucking retarded and this this is the reason why i left america why why would i want to stay in america when the people 
of the United States are so into this support the troops, support fucking all this bullshit. The only way you can support the troops is for everybody to get on a fucking plane, come back home to America, shut down all the bases in all 194 countries, and close down the fucking empire. And take all of that money that you're wasting on fucking military spending and help out your fucking country. How about that? How about you put people back to get back to work? How about you take all those military people with so much training that they have, bring them home and have them fix roads and bridges? Have them rebuild these these places like Texas where they're fucking having all this flooding. How about they how about they help America? How about that? You know? How about we stop paying attention to these fucking news sources that tell you that that you have to worry about terrorism? You do have to worry about terrorism. They're called police. They're called police officers. That's who you have to fucking worry about. You have to worry about the fucking police taking you off to jail for some bullshit offense. Most of the people in prison in America, which is the biggest prison fucking complex in the world, that are it's bigger than like six countries put together. They have more people in fucking prison than anywhere in the fucking world. It's fucking ridiculous. Even North Korea and China together. How's that fucking possible? All these, all, all this stuff is just, it's what made me leave America. Because I was part of the Occupy. And nobody wanted to do anything. They just wanted to talk. And that's how America is now. I don't want to stay there and help anybody fight for anything there. Because nobody will fight. It's a here today, gone tomorrow thing. You know, they'll put something up on the TV and everybody goes, Whoa! and then a week later they're like, oh, let's watch TV. Let's watch something, you know, let's watch a Friends rerun. They don't care, you know. This stuff is it, this stuff is ruining your child's child's world. The stuff that they're implementing right now, it's basically killing the United States. And you could stop it. It would be very easy for you to stop all of this, to get rid of it. And all you'd have to do is collectively stand up and fight. And these people are not willing to do that. Nobody in America is willing to do that. They want to go with the norm. I got my job. I got my ice cream. I got my two and a half kids. I got my dog. Got my white picket fence. And as long as I have that, I'm not going to fucking distract anything. You know? And it's, that's the wrong way to think about it. Because by the time you lose all that, it's going to be too late. You know? And then the problem is, is that time may have already happened, you know? And and all this legislation that's going in is just the icing on the cake. And if we could stop it now, we, we're still going to have to uh, unact a lot of the acts that they've put together. A lot of the bills they've signed, a lot of the things they've passed. You would have to take all that shit out of, out of the legislation and, and, like, nulligate all of it, you know? But if you could do that we would be great. But if you let them just keep doing whatever the fuck they want and you don't give them any checks and balances, there's not going to there's not going to be in the United States, you know? Everybody in the world is already figuring out that the United States dollar, they give you all this bullshit about how much the dollar's worth. The dollar isn't worth anything because they got rid of the gold standard back in the 70s and they keep printing money and printing money and printing money, but they don't have anything to back that money up. The United States dollar is actually worth about 2 pennies. That's all it's worth. And they're they're doing all these loans with other countries with this paper dollar that they have that isn't worth shit, that doesn't have any gold backing it up, no, no, no silver, no gold, no nothing. There's nothing backing it up. And other countries are starting to realize that. Other countries are starting to realize that America is actually broke. They don't have any money. They don't have any, and all the money that they make, they waste on war to try to keep everybody at bay. You know, and they could easily bring everybody home and take all that money that they're wasting on that and help their own people, you know, and it would be very quick that they could stop having to help their own people because all their people would be helped within a couple of years. And then they could turn around and start trying to help other countries. And then America would go back to being what it was a hundred years ago, the land where everybody wanted to come and that you could have a, a free country and that you could be what you wanted to be and that you could maybe come to America and have a company and you could you could grow into something and have a lot of money and all this stuff that would happen but that's not happening now 
The rich get richer, the poor get poorer, and the middle class is disappearing. And that's what they want. Basically, they want people who are smart enough to operate the equipment, but are stupid enough to believe anything they'll be, they're told. And that they can keep you scared all the time by putting up some shit on, on, on Fox News. You know, this just in. Somebody's going to get you. Watch out. You know, that's their whole fucking thing. They want, they want you to be scared like something's going to fucking happen. Something's going to hurt you. Watch out. There's, there's a terrorist in our neighborhood. Got to watch out. You know, got to, got to take away more of your freedoms, you know. And all these people, I heard Whoopi Goldberg talking today on the fucking The View, talking about how she likes, she's not doing anything wrong. So she doesn't care if people are looking and snooping through her emails and snooping through all of her shit. Because she's not doing anything wrong. It doesn't matter if you're not doing anything wrong. The fucking Constitution says they can't do it. And nothing has ever been shown to, to prove that it's worth them collecting everybody's data. They've never found anything. How many people have they taken to court? from the from the people in the fucking airport you know have you ever heard anybody on the tv being taken from the airport that that had something that had to do with like terrorism no it's like toe clippers and fucking scissors and fucking deodorant like you know you're gonna blow up the fucking plane with it you know stupid shit that's basically what it is it's about taking your freedom that's what it's about. It's not about keeping you safe. They want to erode your freedom little by little, and you're willing to allow them to do it. You know, just like the, just like it was said. You know, I forget who said it. Whether it was Thomas Jefferson or Benjamin Franklin or whoever the fuck it was, I forget. You know, but those who are willing to give up some of their freedom for for uh, safety deserve neither, and will get neither. You know, and that's basically what's going on. You, you're giving them their, your freedom. And what they're doing is they take a little bit of it. They don't even ask. They just take a little bit of it. They say, oh, well, this is going to make you freer. And everybody goes, oh, okay, I guess. That's all right. And then later on, once they, once they see that you're, you allowed them to take some of your freedom, they go, oh, yeah, but we need this one, too. We need this, too. We need this, too. We need this, too. And they keep doing that. And eventually, there won't be a fucking constitution. You know, the U.S. Patriot Act did that. They're, they get rid of fucking everything that makes it legal for you to be a human being on the fucking planet Earth, you know? And then they, they f basically they own you, you know? And you could very easily stand up and get rid of it, but nobody in America will do that. They're all a bunch of fucking pussies, you know? And most people in most countries are too, because they're afraid to stand up against the government, you know? It's, it's fucking bullshit. I have all these, all these friends on Facebook talking to me about about uh, how the, we have to do what the government says and all this stuff, you know, and the government makes these laws and we have to abide by them and blah, blah, blah. And none of them realize what the fuck they're talking about because they don't understand what the fuck they're talking about. Every state in the United States is sovereign. And the way the Constitution is wrote, states have the power states make regulations and the government has to abide by those you don't get to make rules you don't get to make rules you know and all these people that say that the the united states is a democracy when when has the america been a democracy it's never been a fucking democracy never has been never will be on the Washington, on the fucking uh, Lincoln Memorial, in the, in the fucking, in Washington, D.C., it says, right on the fucking memorial, we're a constitutional republic. That's, you know, do we have any songs where it says, for the democracy for which it stands? Uh, I've never heard that. See, the problem that you don't understand is a democracy is 50% of the population, basically 49.9, .9, could think that what you're imposing on them is complete bullshit. 
that they don't like it, you know. But 51.1% could say, yeah, but we like it. So they enact it. And then those 49.9%, which is almost half of the population of the fucking America, basically become slaves to that 40, 51%. That's democracy. That's basically what it is. Democracy is in the communist manifesto. America is not a com not communist. They are now, but they are they're not supposed to be under the constitution. This is a basically what a republic is is everybody has equal say. And the reason why they did that in the constitution was because they were trying to make it hard for the government to make enact laws and to do things to impose on the people. Basically, they made it to where it was, when they said an overwhelming majority had to had to uh, do it, they took that and made it into a democracy. They said, well, a majority, majority rules was 51%. No, they're not talking about 51%. They're talking like 85, 90%. Like almost everybody has to agree or you don't get to do shit. And they did that on purpose because it makes it hard for the government. You see how much the government fights. It makes it very hard for the government to enact any laws or any regulations. Basically, nothing would get done. And that's what they wanted. They wanted the states to be able to regulate the states. And then what they enacted, the government had to, had to listen to. So when a state says gay marriage is legal, drugs are legal, you know, marijuana is legal. The government has no say in that. But they've switched that shit on you. And now all these fucking idiotic people think that the government can say what a state can do. Governments don't get to do that. Sorry. Government doesn't get to say what the state does. But all these governments in the fucking world are being paid off by these big fucking, you know, bankers and fucking corporations and fucking, you know, all the aristocrats that they have. And these guys are making the rules, you know. And these guys are telling you in the fucking media and in, in your schools, they're teaching your kids that that's the way it is. And it's not, you know. The, I looked and looked and looked and never did find a copy, but I've had a, heard a lot of people talking about it. There was an original constitution that was wrote before the United States Constitution and it was signed by 10 of the 13 states. So it was overwhelming majority. And it was signed in. And it, it is still legal and binding today. And that is the Virginia Declaration. The Virginia Declaration stated that all the states are sovereign. And that they make the laws. And because it was an overwhelming majority, 10 out of 13 states said yes and signed it into law. And people will try to fight with you and say, no, no, it was never signed into law. Actually, the Constitution of the United States was never signed into law. It was never ratified. It was never legally ratified. The Virginia Declaration was, and it's still on the books, though they've tried to hide it. And after the War of 1812, when they burned down the Congress, that's when a lot of stuff went missing. And a lot of the laws that were enacted by our founders of the country came up missing. You know, So a lot of this stuff people don't know and they don't care to know. They just go off what people tell them and what they think. You know, And it's very sad to see. You know, And I'm done with my rant. I'm done with my rant. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop. I'm going to make this video 45 minutes long. I can talk about this shit all day long. But yeah, this is this is my what I think about this whole situation with fucking Korea, and Japan, and China, and all their fucking bullshit. People need to just fucking put away the fucking military guns, stop playing cowboys and Indians, and take care of your motherfucking people. How about that? How about you take care about all the children that are starving? How about you take care of all of the people that are starving in your fucking countries? How about you stop fighting wars and stop spending money on bombs and guns and weapons and bullets and all this fucking useless bullshit and start taking care of your own fucking people for a change? How about that? How about if you won't do it, how about the people of that fucking country stand up and force you to do it? How about that? You can't fight a war if nobody's willing to fight, you know? 
if you're in a boxing ring and you're the manager of the boxers and nobody nobody is wanting to fight you don't have any boxers you got an empty ring how are you gonna have a boxing match with an empty ring you know you can't fight that way and that's what needs to happen the people are what's gonna make the difference if they if they put you in the military or they want you to join the military or your parents want you to join the military and you join it and then they want to send you off to war you need to just say no I'm not gonna do it I'll, I'll protect the United States you know if somebody comes to my door with a gun and wants to take my freedom and take my rights and take something of mine I'll, pr I'll protect myself and I'll protect my family I'll protect the United States I won't protect the United States in some foreign country fighting for oil and die in that country and then have somebody tell me that I'm a hero because I died in some foreign country oppressing another culture it doesn't work that way sorry and I don't support that I don't support the troops there the only way to like I said before the only way to support the troops bring them all home close down every fucking base on the planet and use all of that money that you're wasting on that shit to take care of your people and then America could become a superpower again we'd stop being fucking Rome and you know the way we're going now that you know that's why I, I left I everybody hates America a lot of a lot of people don't want to think about that but everybody in every country hates America and America keeps giving money to places like Israel and all this shit. They're giving money away and the people in their fucking own country are starving. 1.3 million children in America go, go to bed every night with no dinner. And many of those children get up in the morning and may not have breakfast. You know? And this is in the United States. America has the highest child poverty rate in the world. When you hear people say America's number one, oh yeah, you're number one, but you're number one at all the worst shit, you know? You're number one at war. You're number one at prisons. You're like 64th in education. There's countries that are fucking third world that are better at education than the United States. America hasn't been number one for like years and like 60, 70, 80 years. Probably since 1913, when they acted, when they enacted the Federal Reserve, you know, America hasn't been number one for years and years and years, and people just keep letting them erode their freedoms and keep letting them erode America, and there's going to be nothing left, you know. I, I'm, I'm ready to, I'm not coming back ever. I'm, not, I don't. That's why I really don't care about any of this. But some of this stuff that I talked about today has to do with Japan, and I want to stay in Japan. You know, at least in Japan, there's no, you know, in Japan, because I'm not American, I don't have to worry about, because I'm an American, I don't have to worry about fighting, you know, or voting or anything like that. So I kind of know where I stand. In America, they tell you, no, you're fine, you're fine, you know, but you can't. So I'm going to stop talking. Um, tell me what you think about all this. Uh, post it below. I'm sure that if any, if any uh, Japanese people see this, they'll get pissed off if any Koreans see it they'll get pissed off if any Chinese people see it they'll get pissed off and the Americans will be pissed off about everything I said about America too so leave all your hate comments below uh, like comment subscribe or dislike or whatever the fuck you want to do and uh, leave all that below and uh, have a nice day and quit fighting over stupid shit <laughs>